Hey everybody, this is Chris Nelson at Go Engineer, and in today's video we will be learning how to print SOLIDWORKS files such as parts, assemblies, and drawings. The process is the same for all three, but in this video we will be using drawings. So right here I have 10 SOLIDWORKS drawing files, and these files were created in a previous video. If you would like to learn how to create drawings based on parts in a predefined and quick way, I'll put the link to that video at the end of this one. And if we double click on one, you can see we have the part in the front view, top view, right view, and isometric view. And we will just have a process where we can quickly either print or convert all these files to PDF. So to do so, we need to open up the SOLIDWORKS task scheduler. I have it open right here. And the fastest way to do that is just click on the Windows menu and type task. So really straightforward. It is a standalone app different from SOLIDWORKS. And now that we are here, to make a new task for this, click Print Files and give your task a title. So I'll call it Print Tutorial. And we need to designate the files we would like to convert or print. So we can do an individual file or a folder. And I have that Drawings folder, so I'll select the Drawings folder and then we need to designate an output folder. So you can keep it in the same folder, but I actually have another PDFs folder that I want to put the finished product in right here. So I'll select PDFs. And just to verify this, if we go back to the PDFs folder, it is currently empty, there is nothing in it. So I can exit out of that. And then there are some other options. We can choose if we want this to be a running task. For example, we could have this happen at the end of every single day we could put new drawings in a certain folder, and at the end of every day, it would take the updated drawings, convert them to PDF, or print them out, and put them in a new folder. But I just want this task to run a single time. In Options, you choose which printer you'd like to hook it up to. And I'm just using Microsoft Print to PDF, so we can see those PDF files. In Properties, in Page Setup, it's just normal printing instructions. We can choose the range for sheets we'd like to copy out. Basically, if we click on File and go to Print, we have the same options that we have in the Task Scheduler, just in a slightly different format. Once you're happy with your printer options, click Finish, and the task will begin. By default, it will start the task right as you finish it. I will come back as soon as we have finished the drawing creation. All right, now if we look in the status bar, it says completed subtasks generated, and that means that the task is finished. So if we go back to the file manager right here and navigate to this PDFs file, you can see we now have 10 PDF files and they correspond with the drawings files. And just to click one and give you an example, this is now in a PDF format. So let's go to the actual size and you have a PDF file for it. I hope you found this SOLIDWORKS tutorial video useful. If you would like to improve your skills in SOLIDWORKS, enroll in one of our online training courses at GoEngineer.